Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's coming to that time where it's the ashiest season of the year and it's winter. But sometimes you can do get ashy in the fall and other seasons, but specifically for the winter time, you can be extremely dry and ashy. In my case, I used to be ashy all year round, but I think that you experience ash more when you are coming into the fall and winter time. And I have some products that helps me to alleviate those dilemmas of having ashy skin being called ashy from Asheville. So let's tap into this video so that we can alleviate your dry skin because listen to me, you're not related to crocodiles, okay? So girl, let's jump right into the video so you cannot be ashy anymore for this season. I hope that you will enjoy this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. So I want to start off with the face because of course the face is a part of your body and one thing I don't like is dry face because dry face can really mess up your makeup. It can let you look really awful it can just make you feel down and not brighten up your day when you have smooth bright supple skin supple face trust me it makes your day so let's start off with the face first and first I like to go in with my moisturizing cleanser and this cleanser that I love is from La Rouge Posay and probably I butchered the name but I have discovered this cleanser when I went into CBS I saw it and I said mm, let me give this a try because it catches me that it was advertised as a creamy moisturizing cleanser and knowing that I have dry skin I can't really use those harsh cleanser that mainly like our foam cleansers a lot of times I will feel my face being tight and that's when I know that okay I probably done a little bit too much this product is too harsh for my skin so I need to find something that is more moisturizing and this is one of the best cleanser that I have discovered and it's a drugstore so it's not that expensive I think I paid like 15 bucks for it and you get a whole lot in this bottle and a little goes a long way it has this creamy gentle texture that helps to get rid of dirt impurities build up makeups and also if you have excessive oils which I don't have but if you do have excessive oil on your skin it helps to get rid of that too and what I have discovered is that I found the perfect dupe for the Dermalogica gentle cleanser I used to buy that one before I watched Jackie Aina that she did a video on her her skincare routine and Dermalogica had really caught my attention so I indulged in some of their products and I love their cleanser because it's super moisturizing but it's a little bit on the pricey side so if you're not really feeling bougie and you don't really want to spend that extra coin you can always check out the Rouge Posay. I still do have the Dermalogica cleanser and sometimes I do use it but because I found the dupe sometimes I do forget that I have this because it's like identical so I after I'm finished with this one I am not gonna go back because what she found a dupe what I do like to use after my moisturizing cleanser is definitely a hyaluronic acid and this one too you don't have to go the expensive route I picked up the one from ordinary which is the ordinary hyaluronic acid 2% plus b5 hydrating serum and don't be scared when you hear the word acid it's actually a very gentle serum is a natural humectant that is great that absorbs water from the surrounding and what I like to do is I watch Dr. Stevens on YouTube and she is a dermatologist and she said that the best time to actually use your hyaluronic acid is whenever you have water on your face so right after I wash my face with my cleanser I don't dry I just go in straight away with my ordinary hyaluronic acid and trust me my face really loves it if you use essence you can just eliminate essence and just keep that water on your face and top it off with this serum and as I said before, you don't have to go the expensive route. I love to use this on my body as well when I come out of the shower. It's not that expensive that I have to worry about. Oh my gosh, I am using this on my face. I know my body's gonna be done real quick. It's just $10, so a little goes a long way and it's just extremely effective and it will leave your skin soft, hydrated, and trust me, moisture is something that you need, especially if you live in the desert like me, honey. I don't want to be in my 20s going on my 90s. Like, it's great to be blessed to get older but I'm not rushing the process okay I'm still want to enjoy my youth I still want to look good and for my moisturizer again I don't go the expensive route I used to buy expensive moisturizers but they did not last like I would spend like 40 something dollars on a moisturizer and it would be done in less than a month 
time and i'm like why am i wasting my money like i need to find something in the drugstore department that is just as effective so i discovered cetaphil this bad boy here is the best moisturizing cream i've ever found it helps to alleviate my dry face i put it on and when i get up in the morning you don't see the textures in my face it doesn't look dried out like i've been sleeping outside in the cold winter storm all night my skin just looks normal like it doesn't really look hydrated like oh my gosh but it does look normal so this is a true moisturizing cream for your face it's great and you get a whole lot like i paid like 15 dollars for this 20 ounce tub this can last me at least four months because you get so much in there it's just truly amazing last to move on from the face to go to the body yaddy i want to talk about the oil that i use to top off and seal everything in because you have to lock everything in so the oil that i like to use is my carrot oil and yes i could i could make my own because i want to try that but i'm just too lazy I just go on Amazon and purchase it. It's the new one that I've been using and this is, I get a lot more because the other one I was using was like a tiny bottle like this for like $20, but this one I get a lot more. And I think I pay like only $10 for it. And this is an organic carrot seed oil and trust me, my face loves it. What I like about it is that it's not excessively greasy so I don't feel like it's sticky and it's just yucky on my skin. It feels good, it blends in good. My my skin looks hydrated when I get up in the morning I don't even have to worry about washing my face or applying any moisturizer if I don't want to so first off to start off the body I like to show you this brush I have showcased this brush before in two of my videos that I did with my show routine and I found this in CVS and one side you have this hard bristle it's not so hard that it rips up your skin and cause like hyperpigmentation or damages but it's, it gives you the enough like firmness that you're looking for to really exfoliate your skin and at the back you have this side that helps to massage your skin so if you want to give your back in the shower a massage you can go ahead and do that it feels really good like it can really hit some of the good spots like rub out some of those hard uh, muscle aches area the high tension areas it does help to alleviate those stress points and what I do like is that I can use this before the shower or every day as a dry brushing and the purpose of dry brushing helps to really get rid of those dry build up um, dead skin on the surface of your skin also helps to detoxify your body helps with digestions it also helps to promote new skin and if you have a problem with cellulite like I don't mind having cellulite but if it bothers you dry brushing too is something that can help to alleviate or to minimize cellulite if you want to and another way that I love to use is also also is in the shower of course when I'm all lathered up and I just go in gently and exfoliate my skin and I love to use it sometimes with soap or I love to use this with a gentle scrub so this comes in handy and this is a life changer like I try to exfoliate with this at least every two days in the shower but you can definitely do some light dry brushing every day so I want to move on to body wash and I used to struggle in the body wash department like I could not find a body wash that I really love and I love to indulge in like I can't wait to take a shower with it this is a body wash from Dove I mean come on Dove and this is their pampering shea butter and vanilla body wash and it smells divine first of all it smells so yummy is perfect for this season the fall winter season it just feels so warm and cozy it just sets the mood for me it just calms me and I do love it and the fact that it's very moisturizing I feel like if I don't put on like a moisturizing lotion or something or a body butter at the end of the shower I mean I will still be ashy but not like a hundred percent ashy I'll probably be like 50 percent ashy and trust me that's an improvement in my department okay it's best to be I mean no no ashiness is tolerable but if it can give me 50% I am mine so this is a game changer for me and because I do love it so much I have to pick up the bar soap like bar soap is something that I just have to be in the mood to use because sometimes I can be a little bit lazy or I'm in a rush that I just don't want to be bothered trying to be there lining up my my scrub or my washcloth like I just can't be bothered so I just like to and start okay because 
a girl be Russian sometimes, but sometimes you're just in that mood for a body bar, like a soap bar. So I picked up the soap also in the same scent because I do love it a lot and it's just amazing. And one thing I love with Dove bar soap is that it's just not an ordinary bar soap like the regular um, out there, like some of them out there. It is so gentle that it can be used on your face as well. So I do appreciate Dove, but the best bar soap for me that I have discovered so far. And I am not trying to be biased because it's my friend. This one is from Kai's Treasure. I have used this bar soap in my first shower routine and trust me, I am in love with it. I'm obsessed. First of all, it's the honey and oatmeal body bar. When I use it, I was just taken aback of how luscious, how soft, how moisturizing my skin looked. Like my skin has never looked that great ever. Listen, I need to have supplies upon supplies because I just can't run out, especially in this season. I need to like keep stock of it. So I, I have a delivery coming because I love that body soap so much. This is the best bar soap I have discovered. Then follow up with the Dove one. I'm going to move on to scrubs. I think scrubs, they get me. I just have a connection with scrubs. I just love them. And I feel like I can have like a year supply of scrubs. I love love them so much that I have so many but the scrubs that I love are from Victoria's Secret and I love um, Kai's Treasure again and I have discovered this new one by this company called what's it called it's nectar bath treat i went to caesar palace and i found this company in caesar palace and i had to go into the store and i picked up their i think it's their bath soak and then i picked up the scrub as well trust me it's just so divine i need to go back and pick up like three more i love to use this because it's a little bit more harsher so it gives me like a full body extensive exfoliation so i love to go in with this one first and i'm glad that i had this one to my collection because it changed the game for me honey and I love to use Kai's treasure because it's more of a and this is in the sugar cookie it smells divine actually it smells like I want to just go make sugar cookies it's more gentle so after I use the harsher scrub I like when I go in like and shave at the end I go in with a softer more gentle exfoliator and also this one from Victoria's Secret is like the same it, it kind kind of mimics like a scrub and a soap combination. It gets really sunny and really luscious. It leaves your skin so soft, so supple, so hydrated and moisturizing that I cannot live without the gentle exfoliating scrubs. Like, you just gotta have this. It's a game changer. Amazing. So, um, my other struggle, <laughs> like I've been struggling, honey, in this department is like I could not find a good moisturizer to save my life. The closest I have found a good moisturizer, it was using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, but I had a little dilemma with that one because it took a while for it to really blend into my skin and I'll be there for a good two minutes rubbing and rubbing and it will be a little bit of an annoyance to me okay it's very frustrating so I was trying to find a good moisturizer I discovered this specific one when I went to Miami in August and trust me when I went into my um, family home and everyone in the house had this moisturizer and it's the Eucerin Advanced Repair Lotion it's for extremely dry skin and it's says to straighten your skin moisture barrier and provide immediate and 40 48 hours moisture every claim on this is right like I would not believe that this moisturizer be so great like I was annoyed seeing that like everyone in the house had it but now I know why I use this moisturizer and I was in love my entire stay in Miami I could not believe that I missed out on this moisturizer this is what I was looking for the whole time I have tried so many moisturizers ridiculous I tried everything from Nivea I could go on and on and on but nothing would work I tried CeraVe also it wasn't such a good moisturizing lotion no but this oh my, this is a goat like I this is gonna be my forever moisturizer I don't even think that I need to look for anything I found the one this is what my skin has been missing I put this on whenever I'm finished with my shower routine and I don't feel feel like even though I use a scrub and stuff sometimes you do need a little push and I get up in the morning sometimes before I 
found this moisturizer up in the morning my skin will be so dry you would think that I did not moisturize the night before and when I use this and I get up in the morning trust me you can see that okay I'm not like ashy I'm just normal I could run errands and I don't feel self-conscious about being ashy and being stared at so this moisturizer is everything to me everything honey we're getting close to the end of this video and I would like to jump in again with a Kai's treasure um, body butter I used to use a lot of body butters but my dilemma before was it was too greasy it was too heavy and it would get on my clothes and be really sticky especially if I'm wearing like my pajama set it would just be so uncomfortable um in my in bed too my sheets would be messed up it does feel icky and gooey so I didn't really care for body butters like that but since my and I'm not even saying it's because it's my friend but she was making body butters too for her line and I was like oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it but I said you know what I'm gonna try it out and I'm so happy that I tried it out because this one for me you don't even have to use a moisturizer this is a lemongrass scent it smells divine I love to use this at night because the lemongrass calms me it's like very therapeutic for me so I love to use this every time at night before I go to bed it's one of the best body butters I have ever bought and trust me a little bit goes a long way I have this since four months now when my friend told me she's like just use a little bit don't go crazy don't go hammer on it because trust me you don't need a lot and she was actually right like I can't believe it I still have a lot to go it looks like a small amount in the jar but trust me it's a lot so I have another shipment coming as I said before to include in some of this one and it's just I just can't get enough and I have done two videos so far with that shower routine where I have included this um, body butter and you can definitely see the result like I'm not faking it it's there the evidence is there and to close off this video I have to close it off with oils again like what I did with my face um the best oils again as I said before one of the best oil that I said before was the carrot oil I specifically love to use it on my face I used to use it on my body but I just stick to my face with this one and what I like to use from my body I have most definitely found the best oils and the first one is my sweet almond oil I love this company this is my second bottle and it's you get a lot and it's a 16 foot ounce bottle my skin loves this oil this is one of my first indulge in trying to find the remedy for dry skin and what I could say to you is that I started to see a difference once I discovered this oil I used to have a friend that used to pick on me how hashy I was she used to always say girl you're just so ashy like just put some olive oil on your skin like I used to really struggle like I'm not even exaggerating to you I used to have a struggle trying to find the best routine for my skin it was horrible I used to wonder why they call people ashy when I was living back in Jamaica because I never had that experience but once I came here I'm like damn man my brother called me about the same situation like what the hell is going on like I'm not used to this shit found the almond oil and I had a big clap back as a bitch you can't call me ashy anymore because I found the remedy this is one of my first discover of jumping into the lineup not being so ashy anymore so yeah and the last one for me is a Oba oil I got this new bottle too this is fantastic for dry skin if you want to try any oils trust me I would say you can try this one first if you like and then you can move on to the sweet almond oil but to me both of them are just great this one is a little bit more heavier if you're worried about that I love the almond oil that it's a bit more lighter so it's just up to your preference but these oils the carrot oil the almond oil and the sweet almond oil are goats I hope that you will share some of the products that you use to alleviate your dry skin honey I want to know what changed your name from Ashley to Idracia let me know your secret sharing is scary and I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel leave a big like on this video and comment down below I will see you in my next one bye